I hunt because I enjoy it, not because I need to break out a sweat or something. I mean, that madly hammered him, didn't <laughs> All right, for everybody out there that lives in a state, or hunts in a state that you can't use a high-powered rifle, well, we got some for that too. You know, I've been hunting a lot of places that have muzzleloader season only or, or a muzzleloader season during the rut, you know, Illinois and Iowa and a lot of places. So we uh, we decided we were gonna make the baddest muzzleloader on the block and, and, and we have. This is our uh, 45 XML, that's a bullet to bore gun, which means the bullets are size for the bore. Sounds real complicated, real easy. You can size 50 bullets in five minutes. So we shoot smokeless or it'll shoot black powder in states. If you go to a state where you gotta shoot black powder, you can shoot black powder in this. The smokeless burns cleaner, gives you a little more velocity, but it's still absolutely a half minute gun, eat black powder or smokeless. But this one will shoot a 325 grain bullet, 2750 feet a second. So that's still 2,000 foot pounds at 600 yards. Hmm. They're all guaranteed half a minute. They use our proprietary ignition cartridge, uh, an ignition system. Got a removable breech plug, tungsten carbide bushing in there, so you're never gonna wear out your flash hole. Just a work of art. I mean, these will shoot, I routinely shoot three inch groups at 500 yards. Now, we don't advocate just going out there and trying to shoot muzzleloader deer at 500 yards, but if you have to, you can. A 500 yard muzzleloader. No, 600, I just said we shoot three inch Well, 500, 600, <laughs> you know, when you get into that range of the muzzleloader, that's just crazy. Because most people think muzzleloader, they're thinking 100 yards. Uh, a top end, you know, factory muzzleloader, 200 yards. Well, most muzzleloaders, you know, they're shooting, most 50 cows are shooting a Sabbath and they're shooting a 50 cal bullet that's got a BC that's in the high hundreds, you know, like 195 or something, which means it's not gonna hold its energy down range, it's gonna drop a lot, and it's gonna blow a lot of the wind. These bullets are, are well over 400 on the BC and they're going 2,750 feet a second. So, I mean, this has got a better trajectory than a 375 H&H &H and a lot more power. I mean, if I wanted to go to Africa and kill a, a buffalo with them tomorrow, he'd kill a buffalo. He'd probably kill a T-Rex if they came back into existence. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're amazing, they're cheating, but they're legal in most every state. Uh, you can shoot black powder. If you go to New Mexico and you want to shoot an elk, you just get you another turret for your different ballistic program because it'll shoot about 200 feet a second slower, but it'll still shoot 2,500 feet a second. That's screaming with a big bullet. That's and crazy. we use the big bullets because they are so, so aerodynamic. But uh, a lot of big deer in Illinois and Iowa and other places have fallen to no the, the 45 X no male. And I know you guys are going on a hunt this year and we got two of them ready for y'all's hunt. So uh, I'm excited. I will. I've never hunted. I've, I've most loved hunted, but I've never hunted with, with one like this. I've never had one that I thought I was comfortable shooting a shot over uh, probably 150 yards. I mean, that's a So, yeah. You I'm can excited. literally, and this is no exaggeration, we can shoot a deer in the eye at 200 for this. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's crazy. So, just to warn you, it won't be no excuse if y'all come back talking about your list. So. Well, we'll make up something, you know, as to weather, <laughs> guidance, uh, that's you right. know, something. Yeah. But yeah. Just, it ain't a gun spot. <laughs> not a gun spot. Well, you know, but you, you said something a few seconds ago that I just wanted to hit on a little bit. To the people out there that think this is cheating, you know that that's that's the wrong mindset. You like you you've told us in, in some of our other videos, this is like an insurance policy basically. When that buck of a lifetime with a muzzleloader, and if he don't walk out at 150, he walks out at 350. You and you, still got you can still kill him, mm -hmm. and it gives you a lot of advantages too. You know we were talking earlier. You can set up your blinds or your stands, you know, off a of food source further by virtue of having a gun that's very accurate at two, three, four, and 500 yards than one that's maxed out at 200. I mean, most of the factory muzzleloaders, you're real lucky to, to be able to kill something at 200 yards. And at 600, for enough money, I'd probably let you shoot at me with a factory muzzleloader. <laughs> so, I didn't say that. <laughs> well, and that's, and that's really what it boils down to. It helps you be more successful to be able to get further away from that food source where that, you know, them older bucks, they're not stupid. That's right. And you can get in there in the mornings, you can get out in the evenings, you know, yeah, if you're two or 300 right. yards from that's us. Right. So. These are great, we love them. Uh, it's just the ultimate weapon to go out after some of these big muzzleloader deer in some of these states that don't have a rival season or they got a special advantageous muzzleloader season. Well, I'm excited and hopefully we can get one and, and put it to use. And see we'll what have them ready for you when y'all leave. All right. Living the backwoods life.